this is the world of Star Wars. Star Wars Battlefront specifically. And since wildlife continues to take just such big hits due to climate change and uh, poaching, loss of habitat, deforestation, uh, I just want to let you know in the future my wildlife videos can be something like this. Uh, you know, where I basically narrate the lives of strange and beautiful creatures in the future. Oh look, it's a battle droid. Ooh, did you see that hop out of the waters? It's an awa, a sea flap flap. Now the awas can also fly and they fly and they go right into the sea and they are just so special and unique. Look at this one, just fly in the air. Oh now here's Luke Skywalker just running around. Let's see what he finds. Oh, flying beetles, otherwise known as mean little bugs. And they are that. They are just so nasty. You're definitely gonna have to use your lightsaber to get through these flying beetles, because flying beetles don't care. They just want to attack. They're so gross and nasty. Could you imagine if we had flying beetles that attack? You know, it's there's just so much wildlife actually in the world of Star Wars. It's pretty cool. Now let's see, this stormtrooper, of course, comes upon a common bantha. They're otherwise known as the Horny What? Horny McFurface. Horny McFurface? That's certainly not scientific. And here's a dewback. Otherwise known as the Big Head Lizzie. Stormtroopers love to ride these guys around town. And here's an Opie. They are otherwise known as the Snorty Camel. And they can get you from here to there and they can carry big loads on their back. Uh, they're actually not that far removed from our own camels. And this is a Ronto. Good gravy. Otherwise known as a giraffosaur because of their long necks and they're just so big. Ooh, goodness. I'm telling you, this wildlife is just out of this world. And they are from a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Oh, look, here's a... Sh um, a scurrier, a springy mouse, springy mice, just running around. Now look, let's see what this stormtrooper finds. Ooh, look at this amazing beast. Gorgeous. Will you stop shooting at them? That's a runyip. Antler zebra pig. And that is completely what they look like. They're like a hybrid, right? Look at those stripes. I wish these stormtroopers would leave them alone. And here is the Woolamander. Oh, yes. Otherwise known as the Color Monkey. I'm telling you, folks, because, because Earth's own wildlife is really... A lot of wildlife that we have on, on our planet is endangered. This is a Stintrail. Otherwise known as a Bitey Rat. Ooh, gosh, it's so big. Can you imagine the trap for that? A stin trail. Oh goodness, they are just so nasty. And as we walk around here, check this out. It's a golden pheasant, otherwise known as a rainbow chicken. They are gorgeous, aren't they? They have such beautiful plumage. Oh, stormtrooper, you must you. Good grief, must you shoot that golden pheasant? As I was saying, folks, sadly, a lot of our wildlife on Earth today in 2018, uh, many species uh, are facing being endangered. As we look at a steel pecker, they are a metal feeder. They are really something, and they could see far away. Look at this. They peck, peck, peck at metal all day long because they're so stupid. Um... This is a Gilaw, an identity crisis bird. Such pretty wings. Look at that. Ooh, what a fabulous world here in Star Wars Battle Battlefront 2. This is Battlefront 2, by the way. And there is, oh, here's a lantern bird, otherwise known as the non-illuminator bird. You know, they're, 
there are just so many fabulous species and wildlife in, in these Star Wars Battlefront games. Um, and yeah, I just, I'm, I'm making this video because it's to prove a point that if we don't start taking care of our, uh, the global warming, the climate change, on Earth right now, 2018, we will, within the next, you know, 10 to 20 years, see a lot of extinction, sadly. I, it's absolutely horrible. Uh, and this is the Tauntaun, of course. Remember when um, Han Solo is riding around and he finds Luke Skywalker. And he, uh, he has to split open a Tauntaun to keep Luke warm and he puts him inside. Remember that in Empire Strikes Back? And they are also great for riding around in the snow. And they like to eat a lot of fruits and berries. And these are all the species, the different species that can be found in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Um, as I was saying, you know, the, the, it's just shocking how fast we are losing different species on Earth. Find out what you can do to help by visiting the World Wildlife Federation. Thank you. Star Wars. Hey, don't be stupid. I want you to subscribe. Subscribe and click these links you see before you. Go ahead. Don't be stupid.